Hello WordPress nerds. So in this video, we are going to talk about generating the critical CSS for your WordPress website. Before jumping into the code, if you are new to Gutenberg development, then I would suggest to watch or review this website called the wpvoyage.com. This has very good tips and tricks regarding Gutenberg development and Gutenberg editor. So please go and check out this site. Thank you. So what is critical CSS and why do we need to generate? So let me show you one thing first. So this is my website. This is my development website. And I'm going to open the website without login. and I'm gonna view the page source so here you will see that uh, there is some CSS over here then the JS another inline CSS lots of CSS are there in this page but all the CSS written in this each CSS is not necessary for this page for example let's say we have written two class css for two classes in this file but out of those two class only one class is available on this page that means the another class css is not necessary for this page so uh, it will increase the load time for your website and then user might see the slowness on your website and maybe move away to the another site so all this is to improve the site speed and make user experience smooth and again i'm gonna i want to mention that uh, this is not necessary if you have a very good server very fast server and good enough to load your site faster so if your site is already loading faster then you don't need to do that but for the sake of scoring of google page site uh, page insights then you need to do this kind of stuff so creating critical css is nothing but to make your website faster and not not making uh, unnecessary css rendering on your page <laughs> so uh, first of all let me open the google page insight where we can check the score of our site so here i am using the fresh wordpress with buddy boss theme which is incredibly good theme so now let's check the score of the theme i mean with the theme it is not going to be a score for that particular theme so let's wait for it So as expected, yeah, this theme is incredibly very good. It has 97 performance score for mobile and 99 performance score for the desktop. So let's talk about mobile. It's 97. But here we see some errors. This is the error we are going to talk about. Eliminate render blocking resources. So what do we see in this? So we see some CSS and JS. So these CSS and JS are called render blocking resources because whenever page loads, it loads from top to bottom. So whatever it, whatever lines a browser gets, it will execute one by one. So in that case, if this CSS comes first, and then our HTML is there 
so before rendering html it loads the css that means it will wait for that css to load and then it will load the html so it will delay your um, html rendering on the site so that is why it is called render blocking uh, resources now in this case we will just focus on the css so how do we uh, eliminate this problem so in this situation the critical css generation plays a vital role so for this reason we need to make critical css so i hope why do we need critical css you understood it very well so it's very simple it's render blocking resources so we need to make not blocking resource so that is the purpose of critical css so creating critical css in a wordpress is very much easy you don't need to write a single line of code so first of all let me go to the plugin we will install a new plugin called jetpack boost search this plugin it is free so this is the plugin just install it activate it and we will refresh the page and here we have this chat pack so go to the boost section start for free so this score we did before we install this chat pack boost so so we are going to make a critical css so once you activate the plugin it is automatically started generating the critical css so we will wait for the critical css to be generated so once it is generated we will again uh, check the score of the site and we will check this uh, render blocking section mainly however the site is really good in performance but yeah we will see some kind of uh, improvement after that so css is generated now no it's not generated yet it is still doing something let's wait but yeah it counted score here as well and it's mobile giving 98 and here we got 97 so yeah there may be some minor uh, difference between the scores but yeah again let's wait for that so meanwhile i'm gonna show you the manual way to create critical css so search critical css generator so any site will work just open that site and just paste the page you want to create critical css for but in this case you need to create uh, that uh, critical css for each pages so this is just i am showing you for the knowledge purpose so it will generate the critical css so once uh, you get this critical css just copy this whole block and in your sites head section you have to put this uh, between style tag so i'm gonna show you that in a bit so this is how you can create critical css manually now let's see our css is generated or not okay so our css is generated it says five files generated few moments ago now <clears throat> now if you see on the front side of the site 
there won't be any much difference but now I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna open this to the new page and again I'm gonna analyze this and then we will compare so this is before generating critical CSS and this is after generating CSS so it's improved the performance from 97 to 99 and let's check the render blocking resources so it is still displaying render blocking resources but now this time it is displaying only js so that is also we can reduce but this is not the purpose of this video but yeah you can just uh, play with these settings it is very simple but uh, one uh, there is one problem with that whenever you do this there may be some unexpected errors or maybe unexpected side behavior your javascript related stuff might not work so this uh, creating this uh, non-render uh, uh, render blocking resources it might be a little hard so uh, do that as per your uh, understanding and uh, yeah so yeah it clearly improves the uh, performance now uh, this manual CSS if you do this if you do that by manually what you need to do is you need to put that I'm gonna view the page source and I'm gonna hard refresh this So as you can see this is the critical CSS generated and added inside the head part so when you generate a manual critical CSS then you have to edit your themes header.php and put that CSS like this inside head.php so yeah uh, that's that is not recommended uh, because wordpress has already a ready-made plugin so i hope you understand the creating the critical css and yeah this is how you can improve your site performance if you have any doubt question please write down below in the comment section jay somnath harar mahadev